Good morning everybody. It is Sunday and I started off my day not feeling as bad. So I thought I'm going to embrace today and I'm going to get up and I'm going to shower for the first time in like <laughs> three days, wash my hair, put a little bit of makeup on and have a really nice cozy Sunday. How are you feeling about that? I feel so like festive not as in like you know christmasy festive but like me i feel like my eyes have been like up upgraded or something like i can just see all the colors so clearly when, not that i couldn't see before do you when know when we I don't got know. back me and alfie were like oh my god in the couple of days we've been away autumn has like officially happened yeah. like everything is red and orange including i don't think you. it was including me <laughs> i don't think it was before we left not this much I didn't feel like, well, I didn't notice it. And now I come back and I'm like, holy crap, the trees look amazing. Also, I think it's just because, like we were saying, Dubai was so sunny and they don't really have seasons that we've come back here and it feels like, oh my God, it's a season. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it feels so like... The like... rain last night was so crazy, but it felt really like cosy. Yeah. Because we were inside. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to have a cosy Sunday, make the most of it. We're going to do a roast dinner later. You know, this is the first roast dinner we have ever done that we've cooked in this house. I think maybe even just ever for my family. I was going to say, we cooked one the other week for Joe. No, but for my family. Haven't we've never we? cooked a... No, because the other Christmas day... Christmas dinner. Mm, no, but you were ill. So my mum and Poppy yeah. took, took most of it on. Because the other day when we cooked for... When Joe came over... Um, Poppy texted me like, you've never even done that for me. <laughs> and I was like, okay, and now we are. <laughs> yeah, so we're doing a roast. I mean, it's not going to be like full on from scratch. No, it's still be we're doing though. like a lazy roast today just because I'm not fe still not feeling like 100% and there's like a few other things we really want to do today. So that's like, go to the garden center now. like we're currently at the garden center because we need to get Nala some food and some guinea pig sawdust so we, we've come to do our like and it looks like everyone else in the whole of sussex is also at the guard center i think that's what people do on sundays i legit thought when we were driving in i was like oh, we're going to be so keen we're going to be there when they open the doors we're going to be so early it's there's already, already like 200 cars yeah here. literally everyone's already here i, I know what it is <gasps> oh my god it's christmasy in the garden center 44 days till christmas but i know what it is <sighs> well i've just worked out why it feels so festive i know why the clocks went back. Yeah. Not whilst we we're away, but can't like the effect has kicked in whilst we we're away. So it went from sunset, like I swear it just went drastically from like sunset at 9 pm to sunset at like four. Yesterday it was yeah. like 21 past four. Yeah. Sunset. And I think that's Pretty why much. it feels so festive. It's like 4 20 and the sun sets. Alfie never feels festive either. Like, you've said some things to me in the last couple of days. I've been like, you have never said those things. He came in and he went, we should probably turn the Argo back on soon. And I was like... I said to mum yesterday, I might start Christmas shopping soon. <laughs> You're a changed man. Oh, I don't know why I've changed in the last couple of, like, in the last week. I feel like I've just become more, like, Do you know what emotional. I feel like? No, do you know what I feel like's happened? What? It's like a wall has come down and you're, like, seeing things you don't normally see. You know and this could... is a very deep conversation, but I actually do feel a little bit like do that. Do you know what it could have been? What? The Tony Robbins documentary I watched on the plane. And I got so emotional. Honestly, Alfie watched this documentary on the plane. I couldn't see him, I couldn't see it. And then he goes, do you want to see some? I was crying within like the first like 20 seconds. Yeah, I was like, how can you watch so this? It's so real and raw. And like, if you haven't already looked up Tony Robbins, go check him out. He's like a life coach kind of thing. And he's done this documentary on Netflix and I watched it and I was just like, oh my God, priorities in life need to shift. Do you think that's actually what it is? Maybe, you know. Well, I'm trying to think, what else would it be? We went on a nice sunny holiday and had a great time, other than you being ill. Nothing like that has made me. People, but everyone in the in there watching this is going to, what the heck are you even talking about? <laughs> I feel like I'm just... I do feel like something's changed in you, I feel like I'm more of an emotional person at the moment, guys. I really the last, like, like week. it. I really like it. He's, like, saying things that I'm like, are you okay? Like, you, you, you hate having the Arga on and you were like we should probably turn the Arga on soon I was like 
Sorry, have I left Alfie in Dubai? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> when he did your you teeth, me. did he change something in your brain? <laughs> you, you paid him to, like, inject me with something secretly whilst I was yeah, looking. Yeah, what the hell? Anyway, we need to get some food for our doggy because she's waiting at home. You got the keys? Did you leave them in the car? Yes, I did. Are they sat in the car? Well, where are they? They're in my they're they in my bag. bag. They're in my bag. I love when you tread on both of my white shoes one at a time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So, oh, oh. Okay. Wait, have you locked the car yet? Have you got no, the keys? No, the door's open. Have you got the keys? Yes, I have. Okay. It's the most wonderful day time day. of the year. Oh, you should do some merch like this. But saying something like, it's a good day to... Christmas, right? To feel like festive. festive yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I just love this. <gasps> we need to get some decorations for the office. Decorating the office next week. Oh, we. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we want half light senior. No, one of these, I reckon. And. <gasps> oh no, they don't have. Oh yeah, small breed. Here we go. Two of these, I reckon. As a mixture, what do you think? Or just we've just found this a nibble and dig meadow. How cute is that? I'm gonna buy him a little spade, he can start digging away, and we're gonna get him a new little carrot house. What have you got? What is got this for you? And you? And this for me. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. No. Wait, that's like that's like what's in the celebrations. Also, we need to be careful. There's 12 minutes until silence. Oh yeah, Remembrance Day. it's Remembrance Sunday today. I need to, I forgot to put my poppy on this morning. No. Do our minute silence at 11. It's also the 100th, 100th year anniversary today. Is it? Yeah, it's a big one. I, wa I wa watched, I watched the Remembrance Festival last night, which was live at the Albert Hall and it was so like amazing Beautiful. and emotional. Beautiful. Yeah, Tom and Danny performed a song, which Tom, I think Tom wrote it yeah. and it was, so good like just some of the band. stories that you hear uh, on it takes two the other day um they interviewed an 112 year old lady no yeah she was talking about like her experience of the war and like her family and it's just it was very interesting very touching 112 yeah and she was still so like with it she was so sweet it's gonna be like a nan i know um guys this outfit just came in the post that I ordered on Amazon a while ago. Now let's sit down. Oh, hey. Hey, little snowman. <laughs> I think this is one of my favorite ones I've ever put her in. You look so funny, Nala. Where's your carrot nose? Hey. <laughs> so last week, Bethany introduced me to these. I'm not really a fan of rice cakes. I've never really liked them, apart from like majorly salty salt and vinegar uh, snacker jacks. But try one of these. What is it? A Belgian milk chocolate rice does, cake. Does it count as healthy because it's rice cake? Mm, I think the chocolate kind of cancels it out because it's milk chocolate, but rice cakes are healthy. Mm. Aren't they good? Yeah. I'm like addicted to them. <laughs> They almost taste like they want caramel in them. <laughs> so thanks, Bethany. So I am now up in my office and I am going to do a little bit of something I've really wanted to do for a long time. Um, I bought all the stuff for it like three years ago because it was actually one of my New Year's resolutions to start doing it and I just never did and that is putting lots of my memories and photos and I think mostly just having one place where I can look back on lots of cool things that have happened over the past, well, my life basically, um, because I have so many things that mean a lot to me or photos from like occasions that I just have never done anything with or like most people now, I have them all on my phone and they just kind of stay on my phone and I don't scroll back and look through them, but I also don't really print them out as much as I should do. 
So I decided that I wanted to start scrapbooking and there's like a whole community of scrapbookers and there's so many cool videos you can watch on YouTube um, of how other people like to put all their memories together in a scrapbook and it's one of those things that you can sit and watch for hours and it's so therapeutic. Anyway, I went and bought myself loads of these. These were recommended by Lily Pebbles, so thank you Lily. And I'm going to start filling them up. I don't know where to start. Uh, I have my <laughs> my big old pink suitcase, um, which is essentially just absolutely chock-a-block with tickets, receipts, memorabilia from things, everything that's kind of happened in my life that I've thought, I'm going to keep that. And a lot of you may know, I am a like borderline hoarding <laughs> uh, sentimental person. Basically anything that I'm like, oh, that's such a lovely memory or, oh, I don't ever want to forget that. I keep it. I basically keep anything. I'm so bad at getting rid of stuff because I form like an emotional attachment with mostly anything that I can. I've got my sprocket, which I'm gonna come on to in a second. Um, loads of old photos or photo booth photos. Some cards that I thought would be really nice, like moving into this house. Um, we can do a little cut this out and stick it in. I am a card collector. <laughs> I really am sounding like quite a hoarder in this, in this segment of the vlog. I pick up cards that I really like but don't necessarily have like much of a use for them. Um, but I thought something like scrapbooking would be like the perfect place to put those things. And then I've just got some like press stickers which I thought would be cute to pop in there. Um, another tin of things, more photos, and some like scrapbooky stuff. And then my Zola Lifestyle um, desk calendar from last year. Quite a lot of these now, apart from obviously November and December, have all gone, but this side has really lovely quotes on. So I'm gonna cut these out too, and I'm gonna stick those in. Um, I've got like pens and washi tape, little stamp, scissors, I'm just gonna have a good old time. Now you guys know how much I love me, my HP sprocket. Um, I actually have already got one, I've shown it uh, around this time last year and the year before because it's just the most perfect gift to give somebody and I do believe everyone has photos on their phone that they don't print as much as they should and this is so easy to use it's genuinely one of my favorite things to recommend if you're stuck for getting somebody a present because it's just i've bought so many people these i love it it's the hp sprocket this is one of their like gift boxes um so yeah i'm working with them on this video so thank you so much hp i've got this new one that they've sent me it's so cool very pretty, look at that. Don't have this one, I have the um, white one with the rose gold on. This one looks very fancy. Um, and I'm gonna also print out some of the photos on my phone to go in here as well. So I've decided that one of the first bits of this book, I think, is gonna be moving into this house. So anything that's happened from moving in, I'm gonna stick in here, starting with, I think, our garden party, because that was so much fun. So I'm gonna use the home sweet home, and I'm gonna start sticking lots of bits on here, and I have so many pictures, so I'm gonna use my sprocket to print them out. For any of you that don't know what a sprocket is, it is a little mini inkless printer, which is customizable, stickable, and very portable. You can literally carry this anywhere you want. Uh, this one came in the limited edition gift box, which is the sprocket, a little hard case, and a light string with clips. How cute is that? You charge it with a little cable, and you download the app on your phone. So once you open the app, you've got your camera roll. So I need to scroll right back to my housewarming party. And you actually sync it up with Bluetooth, which is really, really easy. Um, I already have the app because I obviously use my other sprocket as well. Found it. Right, so here are all the pictures from the garden party. So which one shall I select first? 
protect your pic. You can also edit your pictures. And the things you can do on here are obviously brighten and do all those sorts of adjustments. You can add text and little frames, which is very cute. I don't think I'm gonna do that though. And what else can you do? Change, like there's filters, so you can add specific filters on. I think I'm good with how it is. Then you send it to the printer. Scanning for nearby sprocket devices. Oh, hey, found ya. Okay, and then once you've sent it to the printer, you see there's this little green light. So you can see the printer queue. And you can also add three friends, so you can all print from the same sprocket, and you can see, like, who's printing what, and you can cancel things or add things in. It's so easy to use. And here it comes. There we go. Inside our tent at our garden party. How cute is that? And because these can be used just like this if you want to, and you can obviously like peg them up or give them to people, or you can peel this off and stick it down, which is why I thought it was perfect for scrapbooking. Okay, I'm gonna print another one. Do I wanna edit it? Um, no. Oh, there's also little stickers. Look how cute these are. All the little festive ones. Oh my God, there's a little pumpkin spice latte. And you can also draw on there too with the drawing tool, which is cool. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm gonna send that one to the printer as well. <gasps> Look how cool this is. If you hover your phone over the printer when it's printing, your photo comes up on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. So you can see what you're printing. That's some serious technology, that is. Next picture. Perfect. Um, I should probably print some out of people now. <laughs> Right, I've popped a load of pictures that I want the sprocket to print and they are in a queue, so they're gonna be printing out. But also, I have photos from the day that we had on a disposable. And I'm gonna look through these and get some of these out too and sprinkle them around. So I'm just deciding where I want to stick everything. And I've got all my stickers printed out. And then from the um, Lifestyle desk calendar, I cut out this, which is Summer Vibes, which works perfectly. And then I also cut this out because I'm gonna circle the day. Even though it's the wrong year, I think it's still quite nice to add that in um, as a bit of reference. So there we go got my old photos mixed with all the ones I really wanted from my phone, which I can literally stick down. So I'm gonna do that now. This is what I have got so far. We've got 
Home sweet home. Our first party at our new house in 2017. Housewarming garden party. And then we've stuck in all the pictures. I printed off a few more that I wanted. I've got so many. So I'm going to buy some more of the paper to pop back in the sprocket and basically carry on scrapbooking. But I'm so happy with it. It's so therapeutic. I can totally see why so many people love scrapbooking. But also, I find them so much nicer to look through than a more traditional photo album because you can get a bit more creative and you can stick things in that aren't just photos. So yes, I'm going to try and carry on scrapbooking. It's probably not something that I'm going to get finished anytime soon. I bought myself five of these books um, and obviously I have this that I'm gonna go through and start opening. But I think I'll use this one as like my either, I don't know whether to do them by years or you'll have to let me know. But if any of you want to get your hands on the sprocket, for a gift, for a Christmas gift, or even if, like me, you want to set yourself the task of scrapbooking and just printing out all the memories that you have locked in your phone, then I have a 10% discount code for you, which is Zoella10, and that is all capital letters, so make sure, because it is case sensitive, that you're using the capital letters. And that is until December 14th, so that does give you a fair bit of time to get that Christmas present nailed before Christmas Day. And you can also use that code on the gift box, the Luna Pearl Sprocket and the Blush Sprocket as well. So go and have a look, see if it takes your fancy. There will be a link in the description box if you wanna go down and check it out. But genuinely, it is a product that I really, really love and recommend to everybody and is gonna come in so useful when I have to fill out all five of these scrapbooks. It's gonna take me a while. Let me know if you go ahead and get one or if you do what you're gonna use it for or if you are scrapbooking and you have any tips or any words of wisdom from fellow scrapbookers, things you like to stick in, any order that you like to do them in, so I don't know whether to do them by year, which I think would probably make sense because a lot of the things I want to put in here are kind of career and like personal goals based. So I think maybe years would be good but I don't know, you let me know. I think this might be our 2017 one, um, starting with moving into the house, which is obviously a hugely exciting thing that I have a lot of lovely memories from. So I'm happy I got to sit down and do that. I'm gonna have to like schedule like time in, maybe on the weekends. I think that's why I really wanted it, like to do it today because it's a very cozy Sunday and I wasn't feeling like the most energetic, so sitting down and kind of just doing a bit of scrapbooking is really, really therapeutic. I think I might set up, now that I don't really work up here because we have the office in town, I think I might set up one of the desks up here as kind of like a permanent scrapbooking station so I can leave out all the Project Life stuff and all the um, Prit stick and the scissors and the photos and the sprocket and I can just leave it all there and then anytime I've got like an hour or I feel like I need to have a little wind down I might just come up come up in the evening and do that <laughs> also I've had Nala literally sleeping next to me that whole time so cute didn't even delve into the suitcase of sentimental <laughs> we'll do that one day <laughs> maybe next time I do some scrapbooking I'll go through that with you, but um, yeah. Oh, I think me and Alfie are now going to head to Waitrose. Look at this mess. I need to tidy up here so bad. I just haven't really had like a whole weekend where I can tackle it. And I don't really like to do it bit by bit. I'm one of these people that likes to create a huge mess but clear it all in the same day, which is kind of unattainable. But that's kind of how I like to do it. It's more satisfying that way. Um, we're gonna go to Waitrose and pick up some stuff for a roast dinner. We're listening to The Greatest Showman Remastered. Now, if you've not heard of this, 
where have you been living? And if you're a Greatest Showman fan, which is everybody, I think. <laughs> then, I don't think I know anyone who isn't. No, I don't know anyone who hasn't liked it. Um, maybe Joe. Did he like it? I don't know. He never likes oh, like he what everyone else likes. He will like it. So the soundtrack obviously is epic, and they've redone it with celebrities singing the songs, like singers. Yeah, singers, like actual, what did I say, celebrities? celebrities. I guess they are. Yeah, they are, but it's not like an actor. <laughs> singers. Um, yeah, 100 meters sprint. And so far they've released four of the songs on the album, so it's not fully out yet, but I have been listening to those four songs. Well, mine is one, one of them's a reprise, um, so I haven't really listened to that. But There's Never Enough by Kelly Clarkson, The Greatest Show by Panic at the Disco, which is like the most perfect band to sing that song. Um, and my favourite one, which I really didn't think would be my favourite. I thought the Kelly Clarkson one would be my favourite because she's so epic and it's such an epic song. But actually, it's Pink's version of A Million Dreams that I am obsessed with. It's so good. And somehow she kind of sounds like the boy, but as Pink. I don't know how to explain it. Do you know what I mean? I haven't heard it She yet. doesn't, this is it. Like she doesn't sound too dissimilar from the little boy, which doesn't make any sense. So good, isn't it? It's so autumn. We've got our roast chicken. In he goes. Alfie's just getting even more chicken. <laughs> That's from like tomorrow and stuff. <laughs> right. I really love the supermarkets when they start getting all Christmassy. Look at all the crackers and stuff. I didn't even notice that. Alfie tried to whisk me past the Christmas section, but I I managed to sneak his little mouse. He's kind of like the Halloween ones. Need to scan him though. There we go. Oh. Okay. It says we have to declare that item to the cashier. Not sure why. Except what did we nearly walk out with? The blooming scanning thing. The scanner, we forgot to put it away. Another thing that's just happened that's very just... Where's Alfie gone? He was like, let's get some Christmas crackers. I was like, no, because it's not a Christmas dinner, it's just a roast dinner. He was like, so? Let's just get some Christmas crackers. And I was the one being like, no, that's too premature. We have to save them. We have to be excited for them. <laughs> Halloween's over. Christmas begins. <laughs> Where the bloody hell is Alfie gone? Honestly, where is my boyfriend? Although I'm kind of loving this new one <laughs> because he loves Christmas. I've got a new boyfriend. Got literally got a new boyfriend. Said to Zach and Lottie, that's not gonna do for April Fools. What? Oh <laughs> <laughs> nothing for your camera. So right before Halloween, I put loads of cobwebs everywhere all over here and obviously then we went away oh it's very blue that's better um and then obviously we went away um so now it's not halloween you where are you going excuse me <laughs> come on back inside this way so yeah i'm gonna take all these down now i think i might leave this because as much as I feel like it is now Christmas, it isn't quite. I feel like we've still got at least another week of autumn. <laughs> been going around the house lighting all the candles making it all nice I've put some stuff out on the table for dinner keeping it kind of cash obviously we'll have the chicken in the middle and then all the bits around it so lots of room for that and I think now I've got the ovens preheating I think it's time to put the chicken in because they'll be here in about an hour uh, you know, about 40 minutes and it takes about an hour and a half so it kind of work out right I think those potatoes look so nice oh, yeah I made these myself huh? is your name Aunt Bessie yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> right let me pop those there I could just put foil over them now and they'll probably stay hot in that tray right I'll decant this yeah these right here yeah thanks Sean you're welcome 
teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, I'm so excited. Right, I'm going to start on veg. This is like a little mini Christmas dinner. Right? Yeah. I'm on making the fresh mash <laughs> and also the red cabbage and the tin foil. Oh my god, look how much stuffing we have. This makes me so happy. Stuffing is the one. What are you saying? What are you saying, mate? What are you saying, mate? <laughs> All done. Got broccoli and sprouts, mash, veg, cauliflower, cheese, Alfie's chicken. Alfie's got the gravy. We can always make some more. Yay! Poppy's little vegetarian tartlet Yay! made from scratch. Of Not course. really. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm right there, I could do it with that. This is my karaoke song! Okay, but you don't need to hit me with your napkin. This is your karaoke song? Since when? Since forever, babe. I thought it was a single lady. Stop it! Oh, I was, I was waiting for your napkin to catch fire on the back of it. They were like, whee! Oh, Orange juice, you too. Olive juice, you too. Elephant juice, you too. <laughs> Everyone's in a little bit of a post food coma, right? Yeah. No, Poppy is. Wrong. <laughs> Look at Poppy. Yeah. She's dying. Poppy had twice as much as everybody else. <laughs> no, she didn't. Poppy finished it within about four seconds. Poppy just went like this. <laughs> and now we've, we've cracked open. <laughs> we've cracked open the Maltese truffles. Who's had one? Did you have one? Was Very it good. delish? I was expecting little biscuit bits, so I was slightly bit disappointed. Oh, wait. It's supposed to be. Them? Look. Oh, I didn't get any. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I had a weird one. <laughs> We've got some How weird. I actually I'm didn't sorry. get any crispy bits in mine. Who won shit face and who lost shit face? Oh, it's called, it's called shit head. Oh, it sounds, it sounds like, like I'm drunk. calling Sean a shit face. <laughs> who won shit face? Who won shit head? <laughs> <laughs> I won the first one, but lost the second one, so I evened out. Yeah. So I am dead. You won. No, Poppy won. Who I won? Alfie lost first time. No, I won the second one. Did I not win the second one? I oh, know I came second. I did win. Look at did I have my slippers. They're mine. What's that one? <laughs> I did think. Oh my god, your feet look really big from this angle. <laughs> guess that song. Guess that song. Harry Potter. Now guess this one. <laughs> Um, Hunger Games. Yeah. Do another one. No, no way. No. Uh, Tarzan? Yeah. <laughs> was it? That was actually Tarzan. Oh my god. I don't know any more whistle ones. My brother does a really good antiques roadshow. You don't know what you're doing. I do. Harry Potter? Oh. No. <laughs> What's that? that? <laughs> Oh no, I thought I was going for something else. I was like Christmas can you do Antiques Roadshow? I don't know what it sounds like. <laughs> oh my god, that's all my Antiques Yeah, that's it. Yeah, well done. E.T. I don't want to be paralysed. No. You can do it. What does he do? E.T. is um... Oh my god. Oh, how does it go? Oh, that's horrific. Do, 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 do. Oh no, see, oh, that freaks me do, out. I don't do. like it at all. <laughs> that's not okay. Or Jurassic <laughs> Park. I need to listen to the team tunes to sing the team tunes. Yeah. What was it? A cable? I can't really buy it out. A cable? <laughs> Got the little cheese board out. <laughs> <laughs> Not a little big cheese I want up. someone to try this one. We picked this one up. This is a... Was a Wednesday day day with sticky toffee. Interesting. Seriously? Give Buzz that. It's going to be yeah. so strong for him. Don't. We're watching In the no results order, strictly. Come on, Joe. Come on. Look how angry he looks! I know, I eyeshadow definitely adds to the effect. Yeah. He looks kicked. Oh my gosh, he must literally turn himself. Oh. Joe's panicking. Look, this Joe's side. got his fingers crossed. Has he? Has he? Yeah. Oh, bless him. Come on, Joe. 
Joanna. Yeah! Yay! It always does the same thing every week. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks to everyone at home. Oh my gosh, that must be. I can't even imagine. Do you remember when Joe was left? Next to the one, and he didn't know which what they said. But they all say they get confused. Yeah. So anxious. Nala thinks that the gorilla is is behind the TV. Where is it, Nala? Where's the gorilla? <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Morning. Morning, honey. Um, I just realised I said they were gorillas, but they're chimpanzees. <laughs> they're not gorillas. Gorillas are massive. Oops. I thought they were baby gorillas. This program is intense. Is that Luke? Poppy's like nearly having like a heart attack. Like, why are monkeys this horrible to each other? What's this called? Dynasties? Monkey business. Oh, look at the car. Look, yeah, he's di is that a dynasty or dynasty? Yeah, Luther's the one that bought him and he's asking him for forgiveness. Oh, oh they're God. making oh, friends. Luther? Yeah. <gasps> I can't handle this. You have to watch this program, guys. I love the music. Alfie's really enjoying it. David, honey, go oh, to his doctor. balls. <laughs> his ball sack. He bit his ball he sack. He bit his ball sack. No. Yeah. He's, he had he a big... They bit David's, David's ball sack. He's scrotum. <laughs> Poor David. He had a big old He's scrotum. He's scrotum. They didn't ever teach me about scrotum. <laughs> Oh, What's a scrotum? Do we have oh, one, Pop? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna check when I get home. I have a scrotum. <laughs> Guys, do I have a scrotum? David does. Got a David. David's got does. half a scrotum. <laughs> Doesn't David Attenborough just have How the most? They're gathering around him. <gasps> they better not attack him. To say it. sorry. Someone needs to stitch up his leg, honestly. Yeah, David Attenborough just has the most soothing voice. It's probably why Alfie's asleep right now. Bedtime. Everyone's gone home now and we're getting into bed. It's actually not that late at all. What is the time? It's half nine. <laughs> it's half nine. <laughs> oh, I don't know whether it's that we're still sort of on Dubai time because now it would be half one in the morning. Um, or it's kind of that and a mixture of just the fact that I've, I've really not been sleeping very well the past, like, five days. So hopefully... If I get an early night, I'll get lots of sleep and I'll kind of get back on track a bit more because I've been awake since half past five this morning. As if I wake up early or like past at least half three, I just can't get back to sleep ever, whether I'm ill or not, but more so if I'm feeling ill because I just, I'm just so awake. Um, so yeah, had a really lovely day. Um, that program was so good. I just love anything David Attenborough does. They're just incredible. He's the man, isn't he? The next one is penguins in Antarctica. Excited about that one. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you very soon. Bye.